Welcome back to What's Up Stratford. Joining me is Jake and Paula from the Julie Hotel. Paula, let's start off with you. You both were professional paramedics. Um, you left that career to get into the hospitality industry. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we actually left to get into real estate in general, and then over time, gradually got into hospitality with having a few Airbnbs. And then um, once we purchased the, it wasn't in before, once we purchased that, then we were like full in on uh, hospitality. Yeah, it's a good pun on the, you were full in. So Jake, uh, were you involved in the construction of this as well? Uh, no, no, not involved in the construction, more uh, the oversight and management of the the construction. So you, you both bought this building. Why Stratford first off and why this building? We actually, we love Stratford. That's where we both worked as paramedics. We've driven by the building probably literally a thousand times. Jake actually did a call in the building like years and years ago. Um, and the previous owner remembered Jake coming to do a call there. Uh, we also got married in Stratford. We eloped to Stratford City Hall. We just genuinely love Stratford. Yeah, Stratford's a great city. Uh, it's my favorite Canadian city. So, Mine too. I uh, love it, yeah. And well, we feel the same way. So tell us about some of the flats you've done. I actually like, I think it's flat number five is the uh, honeymoon. Tell us about the sofa and some of the the renos that you, you did. Yeah, so flat five, if I had to choose a favorite, I would pick that one as well. I've got favorite aspects of many flats, but flat five overall would be my favorite. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of vintage pieces which make Hotel Julie pretty unique. So that couch in there, that's actually from like the 1960s. It's been reupholstered. And then it was actually an entire set. So the two chairs are in flat four and the ottoman at the end of the bed in flat five is also part of that set too. So Jake, what's your, other than flat five, what's your favorite flat? Um, what was mine? The, like four. Yeah, number four. Number four, yeah. So that one we call the Serpent Suite. So it's it's done in greens and um, the reupholstery that was done on the two chairs that match the sofa in flat five has, it's velvet with like, snakes yeah it's almost like a three-dimensional type uh fabric it's really neat yeah beautiful is that the one that has a bit of a keyhole kind of a a, a walkway through into it yeah yeah that's, that's it one. yeah architecture it's beautiful okay you. you got on ctv and you did staying in inn -N. how did that 10 episode series come about and how long did it take so that came from our design team so we knew right from the start when we bought the building that we needed to bring in experts because we wanted to make this a destination, not just Stratford, but in like all of Ontario or Canada, really. Um, so we knew we needed help. Like we do, we, I, I like interior design, but the scale of what we wanted to do in that building, we knew we needed help. So we brought in um, Autumn Hashi and Jillian Mohar Smith and they pitched the TV show and it got picked up. So yeah, I think overall, Filming what was filming around 10 months, Bob? Uh, it went from, yeah, it was the, the same duration of the renovation. So it went from July until April of July of 22 to April 23. And whose idea was it to paint the mural on the outside, the gorgeous mural? That was the design team as well. We actually took a step back, Jake and I, and we fully trusted them to do what they needed to do. I didn't want to have like, I didn't really have a lot of ideas on what I wanted to do. That's why we chose them because we like their design style and we like what they do. So I didn't want to meddle and ruin their creative flow. So we kind of took a step back, gave them a budget and let them go. <laughs> now is Hotel Julie a short-term destination? Because they all seem to have kitchenettes in them or is it also for some longer term? So we could do both. So the original inn had kitchens in all the suites except for flat two. Um, flat two didn't have anything other than like a little mini fridge and a microwave. So it was important to us to keep the fridge or the um, kitchens. It was important for us to keep the kitchens because um, after dealing with COVID, we didn't own the hotel then, but the previous owner did. And she was able to place people a little bit longer term. And we just kind of liked having that safety net um, plus the plumbing and electrical and all that stuff was already there and it does kind of add some versatility to the to the hotel so we decided to keep them mind you we did not keep any kitchens they're all brand new and then added a kitchenette to flat two 
Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Paula and Jake, for joining me today. Best wishes for great success. And I agree with you. It is a destination. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you thank very you much. For Thanks us. for having us on. I appreciate it. Coming up next is Eva Hayes from the House of Blessing.